at the beach. It is hot now, but that heat is about to reach dangerous levels, Alex says. But how soon can we expect that? It won't be tomorrow. It will be Thursday when the heat really builds in. Tomorrow will be hot like today, but not excessively hot. This is pretty typical June weather for us. Temperatures right now in the upper 80s and low 90s. We are dry across Alabama, not the case to our south and west. Even parts of south Alabama seeing a few showers and storms. Note the severe thunderstorm watches for parts of northeast Louisiana. Arkansas getting trimmed out of that watch now, but much of central and southern Mississippi under a severe thunderstorm watch now. Big cluster of storms there, but those aren't making their way to us. They will stay south and west of us, so we will just stay warm and dry. Temperature sitting in the 80s and 90s right now. This evening at Oak Mountain, Matchbox 20 having a concert, and it's going to be toasty out there with temperature near 90 as that concert starts. Still in the upper 70s towards the end of the concert, so it'll be a warm one out there. Tomorrow, much like today, hot, not particularly humid, but not comfortable. Highs in the low to mid 90s. We do have a slim rain chance as we head into the afternoon. That would be for areas mainly west of I-65, but more spots to not miss out on rain. And then long term, we're looking towards this upper air high pressure that's going to be sliding eastward uh, out of Texas and uh, Louisiana and towards us as we head into Thursday, Friday and Saturday. This is going to mean sinking air. That means hotter temperatures, and it means more stagnant air. And that means that the air quality may be an issue over the next few days too. But we're weather aware, not for air quality, although that could be an issue, but Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, that heat index could climb as high in central Alabama as 115. Combine that with the actual air temperature in the low 100s, and overnight lows not dipping down below the upper 70s. If you don't have the ability to get in some air conditioning occasionally, this could be dangerous for you. So we want folks to take this seriously. Make sure you have ways to cool off as we head through the end of this week. Again, Thursday and Friday looking like probably the hottest days. Saturday, some question there, particularly with rain coverage, as to whether or not we can get back to triple digits. That'll be something we'll watch out for over the next few days. But we stay dry tonight into tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, there's that rain chance I mentioned. Back across West Alabama from I-65 East, no rain in the forecast, but one or two spots with a brief shower or storm can't be ruled out tomorrow. Then Thursday, this model keeps us dry. That would mean a very hot day, but if an isolated downpour could pop up, that could give a couple of folks a little relief from the heat. Then as we end the Friday, again, a passing shower or storm could impact that high temperature forecast for some of you, but for most of us, it's just going to be hot and humid. So we're kind of hoping that those rain chances can pan out and you get caught under one of those showers or storms because that's going to dip those temperatures and uh, sort of mitigate the extreme heat. But that heat index is no joke as we head into the end of the week. Temperatures do back off, though, and rain chances trend back up as we head into next week. Ben, Carly.